Okay, so this is a little tutorial on how you can add the record box slicer mode to any DJ controller, uh, any Pioneer DJ controller that is. Um, a lot of the Serato boards, like the SB3, have um, the slicer mode just physically built in by default, and a lot of other the ones from the other brands, such as Denon DJ, maybe Tractor, they have some sort of physical button for slicer mode. Now, Record Box does have the feature, but it's not really enabled by default, and it's kind of hidden. Um, so very, it's very simple. Uh, you're going to go to the MIDI section. You're going to pick a part of your um, record box uh, mapping for your current DJ controller that you do not want. So in my current case, I have a hot cue. I have pad effects one, beat jump, and sampler. Now out of these four, the one I'm going to use the least is the sampler. So I'm going to select that. Now there's also key shift, and if you want to program that, you can you can just replace all of these steps by holding the shift button and then holding sampler. That's going to flash so you know if it's active and that's how you enable the key shift. So I'm going to pick sampler for this, but if you would like to pick one of these subsections like keyboard, pad FX2, beat loop, or key shift, you just hold shift and you act like you're activating the second one you want to replace it with. So for this, let's start by going into sampler. So I'm going to delete every instance of sampler. I wish there was an easier way to select all and delete, but that's just not a thing. So you have to delete every instance of sampler. Now, for me, I'm just doing the regular slicer. Uh, what you want, you can do if you want slicer loop is you can map regular slicer to the regular button. So for, in this case, sampler on the flex four. And then if you want to add it as a subsection to replace key shift, you just re repeat the steps. But instead of sampler, it would be for sam. Sorry, instead of um, slicer, it would be slicer loop. So once we have all of those deleted, we will now go to pad, since we are programming the pads. So we are going to add everything under slicer. So again, for me, I'm using the regular slicer. But if you want to do slicer loop instead, just follow the steps for slicer loop. And you are more than free to add both. You would just have to lower, you would just have to delete the, um, the function instances on the MIDI uh, settings that match whatever the secondary option. So for the flex four, it's, it's key shift. Uh, but for me, I'm going to start with slicer mode. I'm going to duplicate it. And you want to duplicate it for every one of these because you have uh, two channels. And if you have a four channel mixer, I believe you have to do it for every, sorry, so you have to believe you have to do it for every deck. But I just have two decks, so. I'm just going to do it for each. And then on every other one, I'm going to switch it to deck two. And don't forget to do it for the slicer mode as well.
They should really make presets for this, to be honest. Okay, so we have programmed it for, we have put the new functions in. Now what we have to do is we have to go to our board and we have to program each one. So we're going to click learn and we're gonna click slicer mode one for, um, Slicer mode one is going to be sampler on the first deck. So we're going to click that. And we can see in record box that it has populated that with the MIDI input code for that button. Now we go to slicer mode for the second deck. We simply just click right there. And as we can see in record box, it populates. So we are going to do that for every one of these, including the pads. So pad one, we again, the learn function stays as long as it's pushed down. So if you tap it, it stays on until you tap it again. So slicer pad one, we click there. For deck two, click here. Slicer pad two for deck one, we click here. Slicer pad two for deck two, we click here. Slicer pad three for deck one, we click here. Slicer pad three for deck two, we click here. Slicer pad four for deck one, we click here. Deck two. Deck one. Deck two. I made a slight mistake. I moved the crossfader and it gave me an error, so I'm going to do that again. Deck two, slicer pad six for deck one, slicer pad six for deck two, seven, seven. And for each of these, we are going to, we are clicking which pad we're gonna move. We're gonna make sure this is still gray, which indicates that it is selected. So slicer pad eight, and for deck two. And now, all of these have a function attached to them. The slicer mode will be labeled button, and then the rest of these are pads. So we can click learn again, and it will turn that off. We can close the MIDI setting window. And then we are good to go. So the one thing you should note is when you are doing this for the first time, the, um, the DJ board lights, sorry, the, the, the performance pad lights are not going to initially work correctly. So this is, here's an example of the behavior it will look like. Um, let's pick something random. Okay, so the first time we click play, I have slicer mode enabled. It's going to sh light up all of these in the correct order and then it will not work correctly. So now I've already done this before, so it will work correctly, but it's going to light up this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then the same for this row until you restart record box. And once you restart record box, then it will work correctly. But yeah, we have that working for the first one. I'm going to load a different track onto number two. Play, and it will work the same. So I hope this has been helpful in getting slicer mode, a really neat feature I like to use on record box working. Um, it's, it's very simple. It's kind of cool. I like to play around with it in my mixes just because it's unique. Not really many people use it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, leave a like if you found this helpful. Leave a dislike if you did not find it helpful. Uh, leave a comment. Make sure to check out my other mix video I posted two days ago. And check out my SoundCloud. But until then, peace.